how we were all joking in season two that one day Riverdale would get so crazy that the characters would have superpowers? Well, that day was yesterday. Riverdale season six, episode six, if you haven't seen it, spoilers ahead. So this episode essentially leaves us right where we left off figuring out what happened after the explosion. Although the Rivervale timeline was corrected and brought back to Riverdale, we still see that there is residual supernatural effects, which I love. We see that Cheryl in this episode basically has to process and deal with the fact that the curse that Anna Rose was telling her about is real. And that she actually put a curse on Archie and the gang. And this is what naturally has me upset about the curse. Okay, Archie is over here on his Superman stuff. Betty is basically over here a super-powered empath where she can see the negative auras of people. But Jughead is just going deaf! Like, they couldn't give Jughead a good power, too? Once again, Jughead Jones has taken the raw end of the stick. Like, with Jughead's part of the curse, Tabitha and Jughead are just over here like, we'll deal with this together, we'll get through it. Oh, Archie and Betty are over here being a crime-fighting duo. And we all knew from day one that Nana Rose was a op. We obviously knew she had her own plan, she was always manipulating Cheryl. And we see that now in Season 6, that has finally taken full effect. And once again, they have taken Cheryl away from us! Can we have Cheryl in the show for a good, solid episode? Cause now, once again, she is Abigail and Cheryl is gone. Like, stop doing our girl Cheryl like this. I will admit, I said it multiple times, I was completely convinced that Glenn was the trash bag killer. But apparently we found out at the end of the episode that he's not. But knowing that Riverdale is supernatural now, he still fully could be. And I'm sorry, but ew, I have tried. I have tried to get comfortable with dealing with Fangs and Tony being in a relationship, but it's just so uncomfortable. And Kevin's face in this scene is also my face looking at this. We basically see in this episode that Tony's just trying to be a good mother. She's trying to stop a war with the ghoulies because she doesn't want the smoke. She doesn't want to affect baby Tony Jr. But Archie basically went after the ghoulies and didn't think about Tony or the Southside Serpents at all. And now Archie done started a whole war. Okay, and Veronica, believe me, I feel for you. I do. But what was the point in lying to Reggie? How does that help you? You know he's gonna find out eventually an obituary is gonna be put out. And I don't know, to me it feels very weird to kill off Hiram off screen. Somebody who was such a big part of the show? I almost can't even believe that he's really gone. And now just like Veronica put a bounty on Hiram, apparently her sister put a bounty on her head. And also we need to protect Britta at all costs. Like she's just a child, she does not need to be involved with all the supernatural stuff. 